Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I took a massive electrocution earlier. So be very, very careful. This is not a game for the stupid. Okay? It seriously is not. Like, for your own safety, be very wise in every movement you do with this machine. There's your warning. I'm not going to tell you twice. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> As an, in an effort to remove the electrocution factor from 90% of the device, I remove this capacitor, okay? And that capacitor is required. And um, the device does function uh, with the earth ground. See, I've, I've reconfigured this. I took a, an AC feed. I'm not poking around here because I got bit so bad. Like, so bad. So, uh... <laughs> all right well it's been off for a while i don't see any caps all right we'll get brave again okay so um i uh oh this cap's still here shit uh, that doesn't make me too uh confident <laughs> especially playing with them okay so uh i took that wire there ac feed before the diode right and uh, this is rectified out into the supply, okay, through the coil out to the gap, back to midpoint, back, and then we've got this coming to earth ground using the potential, which is acting as a Tesla diode, but in a capacitance sense where the AC energy coming in is not allowed to pass to this plate. So when the pulse switches, it rolls back up the wire, flows back through the shit and out through the coil. So it's back feeding it on and synchronizing this energy with this energy, right? You know, all in a forward direction. And in that process, this is pumping the earth energy into this plate, pumping the earth energy out of this plate, changing polarity. So it's moving down the wire and through. And then now, if being that my, you can think of them as earth antennas, my ground rods are both the same length. Right, I cut it in half. They're both the same length. They're both in the ground, the same distance. They're both using the same gauge wire, and they're you know they're almost identical. They're talking to one another through the earth, okay? And um, that's what this is stimulating. This is this is uh, causing communication between this earth ground and my second earth ground, okay? And uh, that is what's being observed here, and the energy is being pumped. So I'm having the earth mirror what I'm putting on this plate. It's mirroring it through the earth, through the ground rods, through the second wire, and it's coming up through the ground. And that's how come you see this huge flame off of here. That's half of my supplied energy and the other half of the earth energy, right? That's the magnification factor. And when I put that back in, oh, I'm hitting my head here, damn it. <laughs> I better slow down here. The world's not going to like it. <laughs> But I can go on for, oh, geez. You'd be writing books, bud. <laughs> um, so the energy comes in here. And this, instead of giving me massive voltage because I'm on the outside of the diode going into the cap, it's increasing my frequency massively. That's what that typically did, but only when the capacitor is in place. And, and that high frequency was at a specific value capacitance. Anyways, we won't get too deep into that right now. Uh, what I want to talk about is this. In an effort to remove the cap, it causes heating on the spark gap. You don't want to do that. Okay? It does not function 110%. Yes, you get resonance. No, you don't get great big booming flames. And, uh, okay? So, uh, I'm not even going to fire it up because I don't, I have no interest. Uh, this cap has to go here. So, now this cap, the value of this cap is not absolutely so important. And that's what people don't quite get. The, the lower the value of the cap, the higher the frequency the resonance will be. So if my diodes are 20 megahertz, but uh, see the spark gap, I don't know. Because it's not, it's, it's only operating. This spark gap, there's actually got to be two to, for this to be 100%. This is the voltage spark gap. The other one will be the amperage spark gap. And I don't introduce the amperage component unless there's a capacitor across here. One plate of the capacitor is amps, the other plate of the capacitor is volts, right? There's no negative. It's a series capacitor. It comes out, it's going through it. 
one is amps and one is volts and if i the, the volts are going through the system here right coming through spark in the gap so and when i take that second earth ground and i short it to that cap and spark it it stimulates amps like a motherfucker amps big time and they flow forward with the other flowing energy boom 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 charge those caps stupid fast in resonance with disruptive discharge it's not disruptive discharge it's interrupted resonance is what that spark gap is doing here because we are not disruptively discharging a capacitor absolutely nowhere in the system as of this point everything is working in resonance and a spark gap so the spark gap is if it's not rectified so this is rectified so it's working in pulse dc resonance that's being interrupted this is like an interrupter and the interruption that's happening in here is a low wattage low power plasma when this thing is operating so that's what's taking place here right now and that capacitor value uh, can can be whatever you want so the larger the value the the lower the frequency so uh, but but you know ideally the higher the frequency the more available power so the idea is is to get the resonance up into the megahertz rectify it at that high state of energy conserve it in a capacitor and have that capacitor dump through that spark gap in disruptive discharge stepping the voltage down increasing the amperage many 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 fold and in the process being filled so fast that we can drive that spark gap to 60 megawatts like it's rated for because that is the idea of the system and the only way we're going to achieve that is exactly how i have just explained so if you're going to play with it be damn careful this is not a game for the stupid don't tell me to do stupid things because they'll smear your face in it have a great day